Today we're going to be checking out a pair of Paradigm subwoofers. These are the brand new XR13s. So shout out to Paradigm for sending these over for me to review. Thank you guys. So I'm going to unbox one of these. I do have two of them, but I don't need to unbox two. So yeah, this is going to be my first time with a Paradigm product. Excited to check this thing out. I've only seen videos on YouTube. So uh, I, I opened the top first. You're supposed to open the bottom first. All right, so inside the box, we get some documentation. And then here we get the spiked foot kit. So we get four of these guys. And then we have the power cord. And then we get the room correction kit, which is pretty nice that they actually give this to you. We get some cables, the USB cables to connect up to your PC. Here is the tripod stand for the microphone. And then here is the microphone itself right there. That's pretty nice, this is all metal. So it's not plastic, so it's pretty good quality. And the other end of it is USB-C. All right, so if you want to if you want to install the feet, all you've got to do is remove this little bottom part here. Don't remove the whole feet. Just remove this part. That pops out and just take that, match right up in that little hole. There you go. Pretty simple. This is just held in place by the rubber. Hallelujah. Oh man, this calls for the gloves because this is, I think this is the nicest looking subwoofer that I've ever had in for review. This has got a nice aluminum front baffle. That's got the brush look to it. It says Paradigm, silver on the bottom. This has got a 13 inch driver with what they call ART or their art technology, which is active ridge technology. So this is gonna help with the excursion, also help with keeping distortion down to a minimum. This has got a kind of a, just the pattern on the driver itself really matches this uh, brushed aluminum finish as well. So it blends in really nice. And then if we just take a look at the top, this is just perfect piano black finish. There's not a single scratch on it. So, uh, you know, when I send this back to the guys at Paradigm, I'm gonna to try to keep it as scratch free as possible, but right now this is perfect. There's barely any kind of an orange peel effect. So, I mean, if you're gonna get this subwoofer, make sure you get some gloves on because this thing is, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a fingerprint scratch magnet, but try to keep it as clean as possible. Microfiber cloth. If you wanna cover up the driver, this does come with a magnetic grill. So this is made out of plastic. The little magnetic points are here. On the corners and it just attaches right to the front like that up top on the rear there's actually a capacitive touch screen here so for the volume control once this is plugged in this will light up with the with the uh, sliding volume control this is a uh, actually a fairly small subwoofer we are looking at about almost 19 inches tall from left to right we are at 15, almost 16 inches wide. And from back to front, we're looking at about 19 and a quarter inches deep. Even though this is a pretty small subwoofer, this thing weighs 103 pounds. So it is really heavy. This is like the heaviest small subwoofer that I've ever had for review. So if we get a top shot, you can see how it kind of tapers in the back here, it gets wider and it tapers in the front again. So it has a very interesting design. All right, so around back, this is powered by a 2200 watt RMS Class D amplifier with peaks up to 4400 watts. As far as ins and outs, we've got your line level inputs for left and right side. We've got your balance XLR input. We've got your unbalanced RCA ins for left and right and also LFE. There's an arc input for the USB cable. There's your auto on off switch. There's a trigger and then you get your power inlet. And this thing is rated to go down to 17 hertz. And I'm sure it'll go down a little bit lower once you get it in your room. 
All right, let me just share some first quick impressions on using just one subwoofer in my two channel setup. I've got it plugged into a Michi P5 preamp. Music is done via Cobuzz and Rune, which is being streamed by an EverSolo DMP A6. And I've got the sub matched up with my Perlis and R5Ts. If you wanna grab any of these pieces, you can find links down below in this video's description to our friends over at Dream Media. After I ran the arc room correction and got the crossovers matched up with the Perlissons, besides the Perlisson R210s, which were a perfect match for these speakers, those are subwoofers, I'd have to say that this is equally as good as those and might even be a better choice if you want something a little bit smaller and a little more inconspicuous, because those are a little taller and a little bit bigger than these guys. The arc room correction is definitely a nice alternative to the manual PEQs in the Perlisson app. So if your preamp doesn't have any kind of correction on board, then this should make it a breeze to blend in with your speakers if you want to take the time to take some measurements. You can adjust the room gain, you've got deep bass boost, tilt level, the room gain center frequency, deep bass boost center frequency, tilt start frequency, and then on the last section here, we got the high frequency extension from 120 hertz all the way up to 300 hertz. Next option is frequency extension slope. We got flat all the way up to 16th. Then the next two options are the low frequency extension and then the minimum correction frequency, which is 15 hertz up to 135 hertz. It's a very tactile, controlled, and just plain clean sounding subwoofer. Even if you wanted to go overboard and max out the deep bass setting, which gives it a boost between 20 and 30 hertz, this thing never got overbearing or bloaty, but I will save the full review for another video. This is just my first quick thoughts on the subwoofer and it is everything I was anticipating and more if you take build quality into consideration. There's also an app that's available for both iOS and Android. We are gonna check out the iOS version on the iPad. We've got a few different presets. We've got movie mode, music, and then night. Right now I've got this hooked up to my two channels, so I'm gonna select on music right here in the center. You've got your volume control from zero up to 100%. If you want, you can run a sweep, which is pretty cool. If you wanna pause the sweep, you can pause it at any frequency from 20 hertz up to 120 hertz. So if you wanna find some rattles in your room, or if you wanna use Room EQ Wizard to figure out a good crossover point for this in your speakers, you can also do something like that. You could turn arc on and off from here. On the bottom, let's hop into the settings. We've got your volume settings. Same as we had on the first page. We've got the low pass, we can bypass it. We can go select third order or then fourth order. You can invert the phase and adjust it from zero to 180 degrees. We've got your listening modes here, which we looked at a little bit earlier. Deep bass level, we've got anywhere from negative 10 dB up to a plus 10 dB. This is room correction again, you can turn that on and off. Got a passcode, you can rename the subwoofers, you can reset all your settings. And then here on the bottom is the information on your subwoofer that is selected. I'm sweating, I'm sweating so heavy. All right, so I'm really excited to check this out. This is like the nicest subwoofer I think I've ever had in my home theater. It's not the biggest, but it's definitely the prettiest looking. So I've got two of these in, I'm gonna go get this thing set up. And if you guys want to check out the full review, this is going over on Audioholics' channel. So be on the lookout. Go subscribe to audioholics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.